Welcome to Health Facts with Dr. Dinesh. In this video, we're going to talk about the saliva test for COVID-19, which is a test that could be done at home multiple times. And we're going to compare this test with the current popular test, which is PCR test. Also, we're going to find out why some patients who already recovered from COVID-19 infection still tested positive. But first, we're going to take a look at uh, the last news about COVID-19. Uh, statistics. As of August 10, 2020, number of COVID-19 infection reached to the threshold of 20 million and the death toll uh, reached to 734,020 people and more than 12 million recovered. In the United States, the number of deaths are going down. As you can see, uh, two days ago, the number of deaths is 989 people but yesterday the number of death in united states is only 534 cases in india on the other hand the number of death are on the rise death toll in mexico is on the rise as well 695 people as of yesterday this article that published in harvard magazine in august 3rd 2020 uh, by Dr. Minna, Dr. Michael Minna, uh, who is an assistant professor of epidemiology at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and a core member of the Center for Communicable Disease Dynamics. Um, he is uh, explaining how the current testing for coronavirus is failing. He says current tests for active infection with SARS-CoV-2 are highly sensitive, but most are given to suspected COVID-19 patients long after the infected person has stopped transmitting the virus to others. That means the results are virtually useless for public health efforts to contain the raging pandemic. These PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction tests, which amplify viral RNA to detectable levels are used by physicians often in hospital setting to help guide clinical care for individual patients. And here he explained why uh, patients after a while of COVID-19 infection, they still tested positive uh, for this virus. Furthermore, such tests detect tiny fragments of viral RNA even after the patient has recovered. That means uh, the vast majority of PCR positive tests we currently collect uh, are actually finding people long after they have ceased to be infectious. In that sense, a positive result can be misleading. And then he says we need to change the whole script of what it means to test people. In the United States, uh, we have always assumed that testing belongs to the clinical sphere in the diagnostic sphere and has to be run by laboratories or diagnosticians. What the country needs instead are rapid tests widely deployed so that infectious individuals can be rapidly self-identified and isolated, breaking the chain of transmission. And to do that, Mina says, everyone must be tested every couple of days with $1 paper-based at-home tests that are as easy to distribute and use as a pregnancy test. So wake up in the morning, add saliva or nasal mucus to a tube of chemicals, wait 15 minutes, and then dip a paper strip in the tube and read the results. The sensitivity of this test is less than PCR test, but at the moment for public health purposes, uh, speed and frequency of testing are vastly more important than sensitivity. The best test would actually be less sensitive than a PCR test. As Mina explains, when a person first becomes infected, there will be an incubation period when no test will reveal the infection because the viral loads are so low. Also, most people, as I mentioned in my past videos, 
are infectious before they have any kind of symptoms. About three to five days later, the PCR test will turn positive. And once that happens, the virus is responding exponentially in a very predictable fashion. At that point, critically, even if a rapid test is 1,000 times less sensitive than a PCR test, Mina says, the virus is increasing so rapidly that the test will probably turn positive within 8 to 15 or 25, 24 hours. So because the viral replication is so fast, the time frame difference that we are talking uh, in PCR test compared to the very cheap at-home test is something between 15 to 24 hours after the PCR test is getting positive. So even though a saliva-based paper test wouldn't register a positive result for as long as an, a half or even a full day after the PCR test, it would have great value in identifying pockets of infection that might otherwise be undetected altogether. So how does saliva test for COVID-19 work? These are different steps that could be done at home. Uh, the first step, as you can see here, is to collect the saliva sample under the tongue with the graduated pasteur pipette. And the second step is to add 200 microliter of the saliva sample in the brown tube, incubate at 65 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. And the step three is to collect three microliter with the three microliter capillary micropipette and add them in the transparent tube, incubate at 65 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes and then add one microliter of the colorimetric detection reagent from the red tube to the transparent one using the one microliter capillary micropipette. Negative test is when the color is orange and positive is when the color turn yellow. Here's a comparison between the PCR test and saliva test. As you can see, the cost is anywhere between 40 to $20 as opposed to saliva test, which is only one to two dollars. And the results are ready anywhere between one to seven days in PCR test and only 15 minutes in saliva test. Also, the PCR tests are not being administered at home as opposed to saliva tests, which could be administered at home. And the frequency of uh, doing the PCR test, not realistic to be done daily, but in saliva test is actually daily. You could do it daily. Therefore, this cheap rapid test, which could be done at home even uh, once a day uh, to catch the disease and to find out who is tested positive, uh, is the solution to prevent the transmission, rapid transmission of COVID-19 all over the world. Hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video and find it beneficial, please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families and uh, like always stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.